So this shows that the economy is still extremely weak because for us to get back just to where we were before COVID, we would have had to generate around 17% growth this year. The governor is predicting about 3% growth. So if that prediction comes true, we're still looking at an economy at the end of 2021 that will be about 15% or so smaller than it was in 2019. Because at that point, it's a very weak economy in urgent need of dramatic economic growth. With that level of economic weakness, it's no wonder we are seeing unemployment at the level. So the economy is still far from rebounding from the impact it has had from COVID-19. So a lot will depend then on the next six months of the year, which is, again, going to be driven heavily by what type of winter tourist season we have because it's easy to forget that in 2020 we actually had a tourist season huh? mm. because covid didn't impact barbados until around march of 2021 so there's a real risk that if we don't have a improvement in the covid situation that almost that, that it could be a major problem with the 2021 tourism season and we can't afford that because that three percent recovery that the governor is predicting hinges heavily on a strong tourism season now clearly the barbados product and our advantages are all still there so whether we achieve those numbers will depend on what's happening with the pandemic are we going to have a third wave how effective are the vaccines? What percentage of our population is vaccinated? So I think vaccinations, their effectiveness and are going to be critical factors. I think it's important that the government, civil society, all the players embark on an aggressive campaign to persuade Barbadians to be vaccinated. I, I have I'm not an expert on this, but my own sense is that a mandatory vaccine initiative could backfire <laughs> okay, yeah. and generate a level of civil disagreement that, that may be problematic. It's not my expertise, but I have that fear. Society, because the government alone can't do this. You know, churches, organizations to persuade persons that the vaccines with all their limitations are, are probably our best tool in combination with the social distancing because the more unvaccinated people you have yeah, i'm told by the experts there's a greater risk of new and emerging variants which may render vaccines less and less effective so i think that persuasion is critical because people being comfortable enough to carry on their normal lives is critical to the economic recovery And I guess for me personally, I am beginning to come around to a view, again, I'm not an expert, that maybe COVID-19 is something we are going to have to learn to live with. I, mean, I think many of us were expecting that with the vaccines, we'll be back to normal. But it may be something we have to learn to live with and maybe we need to get that message out a bit more. And also work on therapeutics, you know, that if people do get ill, that they can get effective treatment so, so they can get better. So